This chapter will discuss two very powerful sound shaping tools, the modulation source options and how to edit envelopes found in the filter amp and auxiliary envelope modules. These functions are powerful because they offer great flexibility, allow you to automate a number of parameters through time and are fairly simple to use. Clicking on the modulation button reveals the modulation sources panel. In this panel, you have a set of 24 buttons called modulation sources. A modulation source lets you determine what will cause the modulation destination's value to change. Modulation destinations are knobs that control specific parameters within X-rays. For example, the semi and fine knobs in the pitch section are two modulation destinations. To better understand this concept, let's demonstrate by an example. Before you begin associating sources with destinations, set the destination knobs to a default value by control clicking on it if you're using a PC or command click on a Mac. In this example, we will associate the LFO1 to the semi knob in the pitch section, which will cause the pitch to change according to the depth, rate, phase and LFO's current waveform setting. To associate a destination to the LFO1 source, Select it in the Sources panel. The button will look darker, indicating that it is ready to be associated with a destination. Click and drag the semi in the desired direction. From the default center position, dragging the semi knob clockwise will produce an automation that will move from the center to the plus 24 semitone position. To produce an automation that will move from the center to the minus 24 semitone position, or any intermediate value, drag the semi knob counterclockwise. In other words, the color trace determines the range and direction of the automation modulation. With an orange trace, the lowest value is always found at the left edge counterclockwise. With the blue trace, the lowest value is always found at the right edge clockwise. To remove any trace or automation value associated with the modulation source, control click on a PC or command click on a Mac to bring the knob to its default value. If you want to reset or change the value of a modulation destination without creating a range, click the modulation source button. When no modulation source buttons are selected, changes you make to destinations are not recorded or associated with the source which allows you to set the position of your destination properly. You can associate as many destinations as you wish with the source. Let's associate the pan knob with the LFO1. By creating a pan range, the LFO1 setup will now control both the semi and pan parameters. When a destination range is associated with a source, a yellow light appears in a button. To reset the source and remove any associated destination to a modulation source, Control or command click, depending on your platform, on the source button itself. Once you've linked a source with one or several modulation destinations, in our example, the LFO1 with the semi and the pan knobs, the changes you make to the modulation sources setting will influence the end result. For example, changing the waveform of the LFO will affect when and how the pitch will change and the pan will move. Remember that if you want to change the rate or depth of the LFO in our example without assigning these two destinations to the LFO source itself, unselect the source button prior to making these changes. Different modulation sources offer different options. For example, the auxiliary envelopes 1 and 2 let you draw, sync and loop the envelope with the destination modulator and since they are not hardwired to any other controls, they offer a very convenient way to create movement within your sound. The filter and amp envelopes can also be associated with additional destinations. But remember that they are already hardwired with cutoff and volume destinations respectively as well. The aftertouch, modulation wheel, pitch bend, key track, velocity and release velocity, key toggle and key random, along with MIDI control change parameters 16 to 19 all use data generated by the MIDI controller to affect the destinations. The remaining four sources 
we'll use different cell-derived values to determine the position of the destination parameter. Once you are done editing the modulation sources and destinations, close the panel to return to the main interface. Let's look at the editing techniques associated with graphic envelopes in X-Phrase. By default, the ruler bar displays beat subdivisions. In most cases, this type of display will be convenient as the variations within the envelope will always be synced with the tempo of the project. You can switch to time display by disabling the sync button. To move a handle, drag it to the desired position. You can also create up to 128 envelope points by double-clicking at the desired location in the display. A small control handle between points lets you adjust the curve between each pair of points, also known as a stage. Use your mouse's scroll wheel to zoom in or out of an envelope, or if you don't have a scroll wheel, right-click or control-click depending on your platform and drag the mouse up to zoom in and down to zoom out. Double click on a handle to remove it, and control or command click a handle to set it at a default 50% value. If you need more precision adjusting values when moving a point up or down, hold the shift key while moving the point. Control or command clicking on the curve adjustment handle will bring back the stage to a default linear state. An important notion to understand is that the second to last point will always be considered as the sustained value. As a result, X-rays will always use the value of this point to determine the sustained value while you keep the note pressed, unless you create a loop. To create a sustain loop, enable the loop button. Drag the start and end edges to set the desired loop area. The loop start and end points will always snap to points within the envelope, and the points themselves will always snap to visible timeline subdivisions. What these subdivisions represents depend on the zoom level. X-Phrase will loop this portion of the envelope for as long as the key is pressed. Pressing on the loop button a second time will cause X-Phrase to play the loop area from end to start instead. Here's a tip. To move a point without affecting subsequent points in the envelope, hold the ALT key pressed while moving the point. Additional envelope features are available when you right-click or control-click depending on the platform over the envelope's ruler or timeline. You can copy the envelope and paste it in any other envelope in X-Phrase. You can also make the envelope twice as long or half the length using the half tempo or double tempo respectively. Finally, the Normalize Peak lets you bring the highest point of the envelope to the maximum value, moving all other points proportionately. Now that you understand the principle of modulation sources and how to edit envelopes, imagine what you could do with the two auxiliary envelopes. You can easily program pan changes over time, create changes in the cutoff frequency of the filter on a specific beat, and so on. Remember that the highlighted auxiliary envelope number represents the currently displayed envelope. As we have just discussed, the LFOs or low frequency oscillators need to be associated with the modulation destination in order to have any effect on the patch, and the four LFOs offer identical controls. Once the LFO is selected, choose the desired waveform which will determine the overall shape of the oscillation. The rate knob determines the frequency of the oscillation and can be synced to the tempo value when the sync button is enabled. The depth determines the overall amplitude of the oscillating waveform. With greater values come greater fluctuations. The phase knob determines where, in the waveform, the LFO will start its oscillation. 
The start point of the phase will be displayed in the graph as you move the phase value. The smooth knob controls how smoothly the LFO moves between each step of the waveform. By default, this knob is set to the smoothest in order to have a smooth oscillation. However, the LFO uses only 16 quantized steps to create the variations. Setting the smooth parameter to a lower value lets you hear these steps. When active, the R button will cause the LFO to re-trigger the LFO whenever a note is triggered. While this difference might be difficult to perceive when the rate is set to a high quantized value, it becomes more apparent when slowing down the LFO's rate. Beyond offering a graphical display of the selected waveform, you can also use the display area in the LFO section to draw your own waveform. To a certain extent, drawing your own waveform allows you to create additional envelopes using the 16x16 16 16 grid. The modulation section, the auxiliary envelopes and the LFO section offers you unprecedented control over the sound by not only providing a virtual cordless patch bay between different modules inside X-Phrase, but it does so while offering full tempo synchronization. As a result, you can create sounds that evolve in time at the tempo setting, making the sounds still usable even if you change the project's tempo. Take a moment to explore these settings, go through the current patches included with X-Phrase and see how the topics we just discussed are implemented in these combis.